I did rewatch Million Dollar Hotel. And God is so good that movie. I forgot. It's, it's, it's an interesting film. I mean, you have, it's, it's for a certain sensibility. Certainly, there are many people who, yeah, I mean, you can read some reviews who, who hated the movie. <laughs> it was a really marvelous and unique experience. Beginning to end, I mean, you know, uh, Bono was one of the co-writers of the, of the story, not of the screenplay, but of the story, and, and they did the music as well. And so that whole part was a fascinating aspect of it as well. You know, he was one of the producers and, and uh, it was it really fun. The use the, of the music and the different sort of musics in it is just so fantastic. I just loved it again. Well, the opening sequence of that film, uh, which, is, which is where he jumps off the roof. And I threw away the key. shot a ton of material for that and and Bono had said that he was writing a song specifically for the opening of the film but he had he, he hadn't recorded it yet he said he had written one but he hadn't recorded it I asked several times to get it so because I wanted it was the sort of scene that I wanted to cut to music and uh, and I didn't get it and I didn't get it and, and it was getting to the point where I really needed to put the scene together Unfortunately, my assistant on that film was a huge fan. She had heard him kind of humming the song that he was going to, that he had written. And she, she was like, well, I don't really know, but it kind of reminds me of this, this particular song. And so I ended up cutting the opening to that song. is perfect. Lush is the best. It's full of magic and beauty, opportunity, and television. And I was very, very nervous to show it to them because it was very abstract and uh, I didn't know what he wanted. I had no idea. And anyway, I was very nervous and I showed it to him and Vim being Vim, he watched it and he kind of went, hmm. And then he, he said, okay, I'll be back in a little bit. We were working at his house. And so he had two houses and one that he lived in and one that was his cutting room office sort of thing. And he said, um, I'm going to go have dinner and I'll be back in a little bit. And then he just left. That's all he said. Oh. And I was like, hmm, I'm wondering if I'm about to get fired or what, you know, <laughs> you never know. And then he came back, uh, you know, 45 minutes later with a few other people and showed them the scene. And, uh, and I was like, well, I guess, I guess he likes it or he wouldn't show it to people. I don't know. And then um, Bono came and he watched the scene and he, he was so funny. He's like, well, that song works better than the one I was writing. So we'll use the one I was writing for the end and we'll use this one for the beginning. So the song ended up staying uh, all thanks to my, you know, fan um, assistant pulling the song up. And I just was motivated by the song in terms of how I put it together. You know, there's there's repetitive action and and all. I mean, you've, anyway, I, I think it's a very beautiful opening sequence and and yes. um, appropriately odd and uh, bizarre and um, fits the film. But I had no idea what I wanted to do other than get that guy to jump off the building. <laughs>